Hello and welcome to this very special edition of BT Breaks with me, Folu Storms. Now this month we are celebrating women who are fighting the good fight and thus building community in Nigeria and the wider African continent. So in no particular order, let's go, shall we? Efwa and Yasmin Bello Osagi of She Leads Africa. Now these two women are the founders and brains behind She Leads Africa. And if that sounds familiar to you, then I should certainly hope so. Because they recognize there was a knowledge, skills and accessibility problem that seemed to be preventing women from the motherland from scaling up to leadership levels. And so they've gone about addressing these issues doggedly since their inception. And most recently, they started a high growth coaching program that they opened to women led businesses in Nigeria, which lasts for three months to provide growth focused entrepreneurs with coaching support to scale their businesses. I mean, stay Steadily empowering motherland moguls, and we are here for it. Thank you, ladies. Up next, let's talk about Hilda Dokubo, a respected and notable Nigerian actress, a producer, an activist, and a philanthropist. In fact, Hilda Dokubo is no stranger to championing causes. You see, she builds community in so many different ways, from setting up training centers for young aspiring creative artists, to currently leading the fight on celebrity front against rape and gender-based violence. And by being a prominent voice that cuts across generations, she galvanizes others to step into the gap, bringing their skills to help curb the evil that is gender-based violence. She builds communities, and for that, we salute her. Nikki Laoye and the Angel for Life Foundation. Nigerian singer and philanthropist Nikki is the quintessential champion for her community. See, she founded the Angel for Life Foundation about 10 years ago to support people with disabilities um, and refugees, and she's forged ahead with projects to enrich the lives of others. Now, with supporters even within the entertainment industry, like DJ Cuppy, who sponsored 12 students earlier in the year with an education for the year, the the foundation continues to grow and provide hope, which is something that is so needed in these very trying times. Thank you. Then there's Niniola and the Adopted Child Foundation. Singer songwriter Niniola deserves all the props for working quietly in the background to help where she can. You see, not many know that she started a foundation to translate her passion for and belief in child education. And in the last five years through this foundation, she's provided scholarships to children, facilities to school, and it is not just on paper. I mean, go to her Instagram. She's clearly so proud of the advancements that the scholarship candidates have been making, and it is a heartwarming thing to see. So keep on keeping on, Nini, because every child definitely deserves an education. <laughs> Then there's Bonang Mateba, Queen B herself. Getting back to the topic of gender-based violence, we've got to recognize the incredible work that Bonang is doing in this area to combat just that. Last week, she announced that she'd be launching an app aimed at targeting the rise of gender-based violence in South Africa. It would work by being prompted by a quick shake of the phone or pressing an emergency button that will notify an emergency vehicle and direct that vehicle to the location of the person in distress. I mean, how amazing is that? Thank you, Bonang. And thank you to all the women out there that have committed their time and effort in making the world a better place. Truly, we see your work and we thank you for it. Guys, be sure to tune in to BT for the very best in black entertainment. Check this out. Fatherhood. You ready to bear it off? What's that about? Knowing how to cook? Right, that should be good enough. <laughs> Being a good role model. This is some of my best work. They're screaming at me like they want to eat me alive. Or simply living your best life. I love putting my nose in it. You best embrace being a bad dad. Want to know how? Leave it to Stevie. And on that note, I am done for today's BT, but don't forget to check in with me again on Wednesday for BT Breaks. And until then, I'm sending you all so much love and light by storms. <laughs>